Good afternoon, Blazers, and welcome back to Info Flow from Home. Today is March 15th, and I'm David. And I'm Emmanuel. In local news, Montgomery County has surpassed 64,399 cases of COVID-19 as of Friday, March 12th. Beginning today, 19,000 students across MCPS have returned to in-person learning. This marks the first time in over a year that school buildings are back in session. For those who choose to return, seniors are set to return on April 8th, freshmen and juniors on April 19th, and finally sophomores on the 26th. On March 12th, Governor Larry Hogan lifted all COVID-19 capacity restrictions on dining, retail, and religious facilities. This marks the first time since March 2020 that the restrictions are lifted, though social distancing and masks are still required in public areas. In national news, President Biden is directing states to make the COVID vaccine available to the general public by May 1st. For Maryland, this would be the commencement of phase three. Uh, this goal is part of President Biden's plan to get the United States closer to normal by July 4th. President Biden says that his administration is on track to reach 2 million vaccines a day, a feat unparalleled by the rest of the world. In Montgomery County news, the three finalists for the Teacher of the Year Award have been announced. Our candidates are Sarah Cope, a first grade teacher, Joseph Bostic, a math content specialist, and Patricia Richards, a science teacher. The final winner will be announced in a virtual ceremony in April. Now get ready for some global news with Ishan. Hello everyone, welcome to Global News, I'm Ishan. Let's get right into our first story. Scientists have discovered a chunk of protoplanet older than Earth in the Sahara Desert. Analysis of magnesium and aluminum isotopes in the rock revealed that it dates back about 4.566 billion years ago. After being arrested, Russian opposition leader Alexei Navalny was moved into a prison in Moscow. Recently, he was moved into a notorious prison camp, and his first message from prison was that he has no plans on committing suicide. Now, again, he's moved somewhere else with his whereabouts unknown. Jordan's health minister has resigned after several COVID-19 patients died at a government hospital when their oxygen supply ran out. State media on Saturday has reported at least seven deaths. The King Abdullah of Jordan has also ordered the hospital's director to be suspended. And that was it for today. I'll see you guys soon with some more global news. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned for more episodes. Well, that's all for today's show. Check out our website at bncaonline.net to submit any announcements and follow us on Instagram at bncainfoflow or on Twitter at bncblair. We'll be back next Monday with the latest edition of InfoFlow from Home. Remember to wash your hands, avoid touching your face, and follow social distancing guidelines. Have a terrific Thursday and stay safe, Blazers.